February also marks Black History Month. And tonight, we're taking you to Arizona's annual Black Men in White Coats Youth Summit. As 12 News journalist Trisha Hendricks explains, it's an event that aims to inspire young people, especially men and women of color, to get into the healthcare field, hence the white coat. I love this white coat. It we got it when we first got here, and I think this is really cool. Seventh grader Ariel Bowers and her 10-year-old brother Josiah, two of the many kids that attended the second annual Black Men in White Coat Summit, hosted by A.T. Still University in Mesa. I like seeing black people in medical positions because I want to be a pediatric psychiatrist when I grow up. Ariel and Josiah already reaching for the stars. I want to be a judge. Here, feeling inspired by the speakers. No matter like, where you came from or the struggles that you had in life, you can always like, be determined to get to the career or where you want to be. This is where K-12 through students, their families and members of the community came together for this no-cost event to explore healthcare careers in a fun, interactive setting all designed to spark interest and cultivate future healthcare leaders. Where we've been to get to this point is so empowering as well when it comes to, you know, our future change makers and understanding that these dreams, you know, they can they can come true for them too. Black Men in White Coats was established in 2013 in hopes of increasing the number of black men leading in the field of medicine through exposure, inspiration, and mentoring. Thankfully, I think the, the culture within academia has recognized that there is a great need to create more inclusion within the space that we work in and that there are unfortunately not enough doctors that look like I do. Dr. Nafis Shamsadeen talks about how the dynamics have changed compared to when he first entered medical school. I was one of two African Americans at my medical school in Tucson at the University of Arizona in a class size of 400 between the four years. Now I think we're at about 11 percent here of our uh, last incoming class. Despite the growing need for diverse health care providers, black men remain underrepresented in the medical field making up less than 3% of physicians in the U.S. I think every person that's able to break that glass ceiling is able to inspire more folks. Committed to tackling this imbalance, Black Men in White Coats works with universities and historically black colleges and universities across the nation to show students from underrepresented communities a career in health care is both achievable and rewarding. Part of knowing where you've been is having a vision of where you want to go. And in that, in that space, there needs to be folks like us that care and I, I want to help facilitate that. The takeaway message? Every person has a dream, young people especially. Uh, the key is to not give up on that dream. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.